Hello, my name is Swati Patel. I am an inflammatory bowel disease doctor with the University of Michigan Crohn's and Colitis Program. This video is the second in a series of two videos reviewing the complete blood count, or the CBC. This video will review the white blood cell count as well as the platelet count. White blood cells respond to infection and inflammation. In the setting of infection and inflammation, white blood cell counts can increase. Prednisone use can also increase the white blood cell count. White blood cells can be low due to certain medications, such as azathioprine. There are different kinds of white blood cells that respond to different kinds of infection and inflammation. These subtypes of white blood cells are reported in the differential. The differential is a percentage of each type of white blood cell circulating and can indicate to your doctor what type of infection or inflammation your body is fighting. For instance, elevation in neutrophils is usually due to a bacterial or acute infection or maybe due to prednisone use, whereas elevation in a lymphocyte or monocyte may be due to a chronic infection or a virus. Elevations in eosinophils can be a clue to an allergic reaction or a parasite infection. The absolute count just refers to the actual number of specific types of white blood cells circulating in your blood. This becomes important when you're on certain medications, such as azathioprine, and we want to make sure that you have enough of each type of white blood cell to fight off infection safely. For instance, we would like the absolute neutrophil count to be at least above 0.5 and ideally above 1 to safely continue treatment. The final component of the CBC is the platelet count. Platelets are the smallest type of blood cell circulating. They are important in blood clotting. When bleeding occurs, the platelets swell, clump together, and form a sticky plug that helps stop the bleeding. If there are too few platelets, uncontrolled bleeding can be a problem. If there are too many platelets, then clotting can be a problem. The MPV is only a measure of the average amount of platelets and is not commonly used to make medical decisions. Although initially daunting, the CBC has just a few pieces of very critical information. The main values to pay attention to are the ones emphasized here. If your white blood cell count is high or low, then we can get additional information about why that may be from the differential count. Many patients with IBD will have abnormal values as a part of their CBC. It is important to determine whether it is a significant part of the CBC that is abnormal, and then to understand why it is abnormal. It may be due to the disease, an associated complication such as infection or bleeding, or may be due to the medical treatments that you are on. It is also important to the view the results as a trend as opposed to a single value in isolation. The CBC is one of the most important blood tests that we check in inflammatory bowel disease. We hope that the explanations provided in this video have improved your understanding of this very important test.